Welcome back, guys. I, uh, I just wanted to share something with you guys today. I found an abandoned mine shaft, and, well, I found a spider spawner, and, uh, that was cool, and I was wondering if maybe I'd be able to find a couple more, or one or two more, at least, nearby, and, um, well, I found the first one, which was over here, <laughs> And then I came... Let's see, where did I go? I think after that I dropped down here, ran this way, and I noticed another spawner over here. So, I ran over here, and got some stuff down there, and then came up here and lit it up, and sure enough, there was another one. Not... Four, five, six, seven, eight blocks away. So I think I may make a, uh... a trap here. Uh... -huh. Not entirely sure, but it seems like a perfect place if there is one, you know? Uh, I don't think there are any more nearby. Let's see, do we hear any spiders? I don't think so. Uh, this was originally separated by a wall right here, until I realized that there were spiders spawning on the other side of it, so I... Open. Whoa! Hey, no, you stay away from my spawners, man. I mean, I've got tons of them, but these are the only two that are right next to each other. Let's see, is there another spider? Oh, that's a regular spider. There's a ravine, apparently. Also, um, I have some bad news to go along with our good news. I kind of accidentally let all of our villagers die. <laughs> um, and that's kind of unfortunate. Oh, I didn't even notice this opened it up. That's weird. Um... So that's pretty unfortunate. On the bright side, I came down here and I've got a bunch of diamonds. So, well, I've got a couple diamonds. Not a bunch of diamonds. I originally came down just because I wanted some experience. And then I just kept going because I wanted to be level 10. And I hadn't gotten to level 10 yet. And I was like, well, I'll just keep going then. Until eventually I got here. <laughs> um, I'm probably pretty far away from the house. So if I do make a spawner here, it's going to be pretty far away from the house, and skeletons keep coming out of this place, and I don't know what's going on here, but I swear to god I fought like 20 skeletons today. Um, see, look, there's another one. Yeah, oh, oh, can't see me. Oh, oh, can't see, ow. Butthead. Okay, um, so let's check the, uh, there's seven blocks between them, so we can make a direct middle here. Right there. And just stick up stick around a few torches, stick a few torches around here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to dig straight up and see where we are. Because, let's see, F3. We're kind of far away from, uh, zero, 0 which I'm assuming we spawned near zero, 0 I don't actually know. I know you guys aren't going to be able to see this, so I'm just going to cut to when I'm at the top. But, uh, yeah, I'm just going to be digging straight up to see where we come out. So I'll be back in just a second. Well, would you look at that? We're not that far away at all. That's surprising. Because I went down one of the caves over there. And I was I was down there for quite a while. Probably like an hour. So, um, actually, I'll make this taller. So, yeah. We know that we have a uh, double spider spawner down there. Wow, those, that, those dirt blocks followed me all the way down from the bottom. Um, so, yeah. We've got that. Uh, I did let all of the villagers die, but we have more. <laughs> Remember, there was another village over there, uh, off in the desert, that I went to, and I waited until nighttime, and then sealed all of the villagers inside. Like, I broke down their doors and replaced it with stone. So there's no way they're getting out, and I lit up the insides of their houses and a little bit of the area around the village, so that they can't get out, and they should be perfectly safe. One of them, which actually I thought was, uh, entirely... I thought it was, like, broken because there was sand inside it, but it was actually just some sand, like, one layer of sand that just this one wall had dropped through for some reason, or had, you know, appeared when it shouldn't have generated. But, uh, yeah, so we have, like, six or seven villagers over there. All I have to do is just get them back over here once we're ready to, uh, accommodate them. So... 
That's nice. I should have just sealed these guys in when I had the chance. But, you know, oh well. <laughs> what are you going to do? Uh, yeah, I came back one time, and this door was gone, and that door was gone, and all of these doors were gone, and uh, so were the villagers. So that's unfortunate. <laughs> I was hoping I'd catch one in, uh, or well, two, actually, in a, uh, a hole somewhere, just, just chilling. But no, unfortunately I didn't. So, you know, it happens. But we've got more, so we're good. Don't need to worry about it. And we've got our spawners that we could theoretically use. I almost want to make like a... a I don't know what to call it. Just like a, a forward base. Not a forward base, that doesn't really make much sense. But some kind of secondary base. A beta base, if you will. Buttery biscuit base, if you would. Um, I I planned on growing some, or I planted some reeds over here so that we could get a bunch of them to make an enchanting table, which is interesting because it's like directly above where the uh, the no, I don't want that egg. Throw the egg. Um, it's pretty close, at least, to where the um, spawners are, which I think is fun. I don't know what will happen if I... Oh, yeah, it'll work just fine. You can't just plant, like, um... Like, you can just place blocks in grass blocks, because they don't take up the whole block. So, apparently, because the actual top surface of this square is in that block, it just places it there anyway. Or maybe it's just that they coded in special. Um... But, we can plant a bunch of reeds over here. So that's nice. Why is that over there? Um... But yeah, so we've got a bunch of good things to look forward to. Unfortunately, I am going to have to uh, find some way to, pr to protect this village while it's, uh, you know. I wonder if I build an iron golem, if it'll wander away from the village. Let's try it. Actually, actually do I have... Did I grab those pumpkin seeds? I thought I did. Crap, maybe I didn't. Oh, I dropped all that string over there. Uh, I don't care enough to go over and get it. We'll have enough. We'll have tons eventually if we do make that our our XP farm. It'll also give us a bunch of wool in case we ever want that. But oh, and I got a wolf too, so that's cool. Oh, and I I fixed the. Th I thought I turned it on. I fixed the um the thingamajigger up there to just be on or off at all times. Oh, and I I did the floor too. Which I, I'm gonna show. Uh, I was having trouble finding a good way to do this because, um, like, this hallway isn't exactly. I was having trouble finding a way to light it, too, because everything is lit up perfectly, so there's uh, no way mobs can spawn. The lowest light level in the place is 9. So, that's cool. Well, I mean, it's probably like, you know, 8 in this block right here, but, like, this block right here. But mobs can't spawn there because there's stuff above it and it's an enchanting table. So, and I did the floor like this. I th I like the hallway here. I don't really know how I feel about this room. But uh, the only way, like, I was doing this and then I, I originally tried just doing one ring around. Ooh, excuse me. And then like a different color in the middle here, and then another ring around, and I was like, eh, it looks weird. So eventually I decided to go with this because it. It alternated nicely, and then I just swapped over to here, and let's see if this works. I don't know if that's the off button, or if that's the off position, or the on position. Oh, I broke something. Hold on, let's go find out what's wrong with it. I tried to set it up so that, um, oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Uh, oh, yep, that'll do it. Hmm. Missing a redstone torch. I don't know why. That's odd. Um, let's just make those normal torches. Here we go. Um, so that it. Mm. Okay. There we go. 
now one way that if we put it one way it'll be um, on and the other way it'll be off. So we can just flip that and have all of our lights turn on. And that way you can actually see it on the thing. By the way, I'm going to remove this at some point because I don't really like it sticking out of my tower. Like this tower almost looks like a bell tower from the inside. I like how you can see all the way down. But I don't like the fact that there's this giant thing sticking off because it kind of negates the purpose of the tower since this is more noticeable than that is. Like, from way over there, you look over here, and you're like, wow, that's a big portal stand. And the tower, it's just a tower. I want it to be more of a lighthouse. I mean, despite the fact it's not really on the coast, but oh well. So I don't remember if I showed, I put glass up here, and I put half slabs around to keep things from spawning. Um, I'm not really sure if things could spawn on here. Let's see. It's three blocks tall in there. So, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11... 10, 9. Things would be able to spawn there, actually. Um, I'm just going to go like this. That looks nice. But yeah, that's my way onto the roof, if I ever need one. Also, I replaced blocks like this, where it would have been a full block with half slabs. Well, I should say, it's just that block, and then these two are both replaced with half slabs, so if we come down here, you see there's a hole underneath. That's just so that um, mobs won't spawn on them, because they're half slabs. Okay, let's see. Anything else that I did? I did that, that. I went some caving, found the thingy. Did that. These guys are dead. Uh, I think that's pretty much all the news I have. I enchanted my bow and I got power one on it. Uh, let's... I want to enchant this though. Oh, I've got two bows. Oops. Apparently I got those from skeletons. Yeah, I was killing a bunch of skeletons. I'm breaking one. That's the first time I've gotten unbreaking on anything. I've gotten efficiency on all of the tools like this. Oh, and I need to enchant this too. I'm breaking one and efficiency one. Sweet. This was specifically the reason why I was going down there. Oh, also, I'm glad I found the, uh, the thing. <laughs> the, the thing, the abandoned mineshaft, because that means I'm going to get a bunch of rails out of it. Which is awesome, because we need rails in order to get those villagers from over there to over here. Because they don't follow you like animals do. So. How are you liking the roof? I like the roof in here, but it looks a little weird coming through here. I don't know. But I don't want to get rid of all of these stairs and everything because that would involve get, getting rid of all the stairs and everything. You know? I don't know. Because, um, like, if I got rid of the ones in the tunnel, I'd have to get rid of... Or, in the hallway, I should say. I'd have to get rid of all the ones everywhere else, and I just don't think that would be good. But, uh, yeah. So, let's see. Let's put some of this stuff away. I found... Slimes do spawn in my mineshaft, actually, which is nice because I found little ones just hopping around from time to time. Um... I do have a bunch of iron now. And a bunch of redstone. I'm going to run out of space for this redstone soon. Got a bunch of diamonds. That's nice. It's always nice to have a bunch of diamonds. It's never not nice to have a bunch of diamonds, at least. Uh, put the bows in here. I've been moving as many blocks as I can into this chest, because this chest and this chest are both filling up incredibly quickly. Um, gunpowder goes in the useful chest, bones go in the useful chest. Oh, now we're over. Oh, well. Those in there, those in there. Actually, I think I have mushrooms in here. Yeah, I don't really know why. Do I have brown mushrooms? I do, I have both. Hmm. Sorry, it's past midnight now. Um, I wasn't expecting to record an episode right now, but apparently I am. So, woo! I just wanted to show you guys that, and then I got caught up showing you everything else. Can I sleep? Yeah, I can sleep. Alright, so uh, I think that's it. I don't actually know what time this episode started, but it's going to end now, so... Oh, come on, you little, you little annoying pansy, pansy-wansy, make, make pansy pants. Okay, <laughs> um, I haven't had this guy freak out yet, so I know that sometimes they teleport to you just randomly, so... I don't know, hasn't done it yet. Yes, yeah, so I've got all my stuff enchanted. Oh, I want to enchant this stuff next. Actually, I might wait until that stuff gets all broken and then... Make a new pair, or make new sets, and then do that. Uh, let's grab this. Cause so much wheat, I've stopped collecting stuff from over there. Use these to get down over at the where the spawners are. Really excited about that. Still get tons of this. I did use a bunch of glowstone to like. I made 16 glowstone, I think, from one stack, and I believe I did the house. There's four in this hallway, four on that level, and then four on each of those levels. So, one, two. Uh, I'm confused. Wait, I might have actually used one more. 
yeah, there's four up there, and then there's four up above these ones. Four here, four there, four over there. So that makes, well, a stack and a quarter of this of this stuff is already gone from that. And then I, in order to make eight glowstone up there, I had to use half a stack. So, stuff goes quick when you make glowstone out of it. But, uh, anyway, I need to go. It's probably time for me to go to bed. <laughs> um, so, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.